In this lesson, we are going to customize our contact workspace. Let's begin with our window. Sometimes the contact window can become overgrown if you drag this handle too far. So let's get the window back to its normal size. First, we click Options in the toolbar, make sure the interface handle is highlighted, and click Reset Window Size. While we are in this window, let's learn a little more about our options. If we look at these boxes, we can learn a little bit about what they do. First of all, key switching. Certain instruments in contact use key switching, a way to trigger groups in contact. Many instruments use key switching, let's say a cello from our VSL string subfolder. We can see our virtual piano is left blank. However, let's go back to the interface options and click the box that says Show Mapping and Key Switches on Keyboard. Now we see all our samples mapped out in blue and our key switches mapped out in red, as well as more samples in green. We also have the option of auto-refreshing our browser by clicking this box. Now whenever we load a new instrument or instrument library to contact, it will automatically appear in our browser. If you are downloading a new native instruments library into contact, then all you have to do is click Add Library underneath the Libraries tab. Let's now change the font size of our browser text. We do this by choosing Large from the drop-down menu. Then we quit and restart contact. Clicking Files from our Browser tab, and voila, we see our text is now bigger and more readable. That's all for this lesson. Please complete the following assignment.